G'day, Josh here back with another episode of Don't Mind the Grind. And this one isn't going to contain much gameplay. I'm going to be talking about exactly how I prioritize where and when my stamina gets used, uh, what I'm working towards in terms of the different campaigns and all the different events you can play, challenges to put stamina towards, even things like leagues and showdown. There is a lot in the game. Uh, the start of season three has been a lot richer, a lot fuller than the start of season two, that is for sure. And we're not even at the launch or the tip off of the NBA season yet. So there's still heaps of content to come. In fact, I believe tomorrow and then next week, we're expecting two new weekly programs Elevate is one of them, and I can't remember what the other one is called, but I can't wait. Next Gen, actually, I do remember what it's called. Elevate and Next Gen, the two next programs we're expecting before the NBA tip-off, and then we've got a whole bunch of more content coming with the start of the NBA season. So how exactly do you figure out where and when you should be using your stamina? So I'm gonna show you what I'm working towards, and I think it actually starts by checking out what you need in your team. You can see on my bench at the moment, I have that 80 overall LeBron James from the off-season movers program. So I'm absolutely working towards him. If you guys saw my recent Kawhi Leonard video, you know that I did get lucky and I packed him. So I did actually strengthen up the weakness that I had in my small forward position, but I still also have a weakness in my power forward position. So I'm prioritizing any campaigns that will actually strengthen those two positions specifically. Now currently there's nothing for the power forward, but obviously if we jump to the campaign screens and go into off-season movers, we can work towards this 85 overall small forward LeBron James. I'm not sure whether I'm going to be able to get the 85 overall, but I'm definitely working uh, towards either the 83 or maybe the 85 if I can get there. If I can't, I'll be happy with the 80 especially now that I have that Kawhi Leonard in that spot as well. So if we go back out, I'm gonna start with the NBA today because these are events that I always get through one time only. They're not meant to be repeatable. You get through all of those one time. Initially, I was ignoring the jackpot events because they were just too hard with golds, but now that I've got elite James Harden as my shooting guard, I am able to get through these almost always on my first attempt and then it's worth it, especially at this stage in the game, the gold, or the coins that you get from that is definitely useful added up over time. So I get through all of those events once, and that also helps me work towards some of these, I think it's, no, I think we're actually in the right section. I think it's gameplay achievements, uh, or maybe not. There is a specific section here, and maybe I'm remembering, maybe they're hidden? I feel like I've, I've had some achievements appear for playing certain live events there but anyway it still goes towards this one here win 500 challenges so those live events go towards that and obviously you need a thousand uh challenges or live events completed if you want to continue leveling up this joel Embiid. so currently i'm about halfway to the win a thousand challenges i've actually completed a hundred sets so that one will unlock immediately afterwards i've also achieved an 80 overall lineup so that one will unlock as well uh, I don't believe I've got 75 get loose wins yet as you're doing that once per day. So that one specifically you definitely should be doing every day. But I do each of the NBA Today live events just once. Uh, once a week you will also get the cash live events. So make sure to do that to earn yourself a little bit of extra cash. You also need two of those for your daily objectives. Uh, it is, which one? This one here, win at least two NBA Live uh, Today live events. So it, it ties into a few different aspects of the game. So that is one part of me using my stamina on a daily basis is getting all those events done. Obviously, I'm also winning the two showdown uh, quarters required for the daily objectives. I make sure I get my daily objectives every day. Uh, at the moment, you actually earn yourself an off-season movers pack as well for completing those. But I'll 100% get the, the two required. I'm not actually grinding showdown much more than that because it's pretty challenging to get to legend here in one week and I'm, I don't feel that the rewards are really worth it to be honest at this point in time and I'm focusing my stamina in another area but it's different for everyone some people really enjoy the shonan grind and it makes sense for them to spend a whole bunch of their stamina in this specific part of the game that's fine uh, season mode I will touch on that I'm not doing it at all I have actually got up to game six or game seven whatever that is game seven it says at top left but that was early on when the game first launched and I'm no longer spending my stamina on this. 
you do actually get a pretty solid prize for winning the championship game in a season, which is a pro pack. That's a lot better than we did get last season, but I, I just don't think it's worth 20 stamina a game at this point in time when I could be using my stamina for other things. So now if we move into, actually we'll quickly look at league. So I am doing my daily league drives uh, every day doing those two. So obviously spending stamina on that. So there's me there. Uh, I did actually recently drop a video on how to run a successful and competitive league. So make sure to check that out if you are interested. Now, in terms of using stamina, the other only area is campaigns. So we jump into campaigns. Because I played last season, I do have access to this legacy area. I do not do these Blitz events. The Blitz events here, uh, I think you get a bronze player. It's just not worth it in my mind. But I do do the off-season movers head start. I also did the rookies head start. So any head start content I will get through. There is a couple, like these, these don't reset every day or every four hours. So there's no rush to get these done. Just when you've got some spare stamina, jump in here and get these. Uh, in terms of stamina for first win rewards, I also don't think this is necessarily worth it. If we go back to campaigns, I have touched on this in one of my other uh, maybe a stream or maybe a, a don't mind the grind video, but if you did actually drop the $2, uh, this fast break blitz event is well worth doing for the first win. You're earning 300 coins plus 900 coins for the first win, and you're also earning at least 10 Thunderwinds tokens, which sell for 50 coins a piece. So you're actually earning yourself 1,700 coins minimum, because you can actually pull a few more for only 20 stamina, which is fantastic in terms of coins earned for stamina costs. So every eight hours when that resets, I do jump in and do that. It is also worth doing this one if you've bought the five showdown packs. It's got a similar first win reward in terms of coins. You just don't get as many thunder tokens in the first win pack, but it's still good to do. And then I'm spending the rest of my stamina on the current program. So obviously I'm working through the challenges. Every program, I wanna complete all the challenges on that map. And then I'm looking at the Blitz events. As I'm going for LeBron, I'm doing the easy win once. That's 20 stamina for one silver off-season mover. And then I do the 40 stamina event multiple times. It's a little bit quicker to complete than the easy. I'm not touching the shack easy or hard, but if I was trying to go for Shaq, I would look at doing those as well. And in fact, just for those first win rewards for the extra little bit of uh, coin there, that's probably something I should actually seriously consider doing. So I have done the LeBron ones. So let's jump in now and I will do these Shaq ones. I'm not necessarily after Shaq tokens, but you're still getting silver players most of the time anyway and you do get a little bit of extra coin on the first win. Let's see if I can hit threes with this DeAndre Jordan. No, I'm not feeling confident. I'm not sure why we're having to use a center to hit threes. I have a feeling I'm probably going to lose this one uh, and I won't be repeating it. If this event is hitting threes with my center, this is not one that I'm interested in. I didn't realize this at the time. So let us see if I can pass it. It's looking unlikely. Once you've missed it twice, you basically run out of time. I would have to get very lucky and in fact, we're 100% going to run out of time, so let's just stop wasting our time with that one, and we'll move on to the hard and see if that is any better. So we do get that 600 coin first win bonus. This is a 5v5, so it does take a little bit longer to complete than the LeBron hard blitz event. What do we need to do? We need to win the game, which is a two-minute game, and score at least three three-pointers. So we can hit the three-pointers. We've got plenty of time to hit three of those. I don't think winning the game will be an issue either. We are currently down by a point, I believe. I think our score is on the left. Let's see if we can get this W real quick. And while we're focusing on this, just sort of going over. So prioritize your use of stamina in terms of what your franchise needs. So the, the positions that are weakest, that's what you want to look at. So for me, it was my small forward and my power forward. Currently, there's no campaigns that will increase my power forward, or, or uh, not increase isn't the right word, improve is the word I'm looking for, but there certainly is the off-season movers campaign which can improve my small forward. So I'm spending all of my stamina on the LeBron James hard blitz event. Oh, how am I missing so many in a row all of a sudden? This is pretty typical. If you watch my videos, you know that I get pretty cheesed. Uh, <laughs> 
The AI seems to make shots that shouldn't, and I seem to make missed shots that I should, so that's part and parcel of NBA Live Mobile sometimes. Let's see if I can hit this three. Uh, not with DeAndre, though. Let's get it to one of our three-point shooters. Go back to Harden. Can I get it in the corner? Firstly, there we go. The defender went for the steal, so we were wide open, and of course, we miss another one. 48 seconds to hit two more threes. I was so confident this wouldn't be a problem at the start, and now I have no idea whether we're going to actually make this or not. I'm going to have to focus just a little bit more to see if we can win this and not have the stamina go to waste. So obviously you want to do your best to win every live event so you're not wasting any stamina. Can we get a stop? That's the question. Oh no, open shot. That's going to... Ooh, it missed it. Oh, we don't get the board. That time we get the board. All right, Kawhi, can you actually hit a three for us, please? We need to hit this and then the next. Okay, score is tied, so I cannot let the opponent hit a three. I need to get a stop or have them shoot a two and then come back down and score a three. But they might just hold it until the end of the shot clock anyway. I kind of need to prompt them to shoot it at this point. Uh, not a three. If that drops, it's all over. Can I get a three-pointer? Go long, go long. Back it out. Is that a three and will it drop? This is clutch. Can Harden... I don't think it's going to drop. It did drop. Was it a three? It was a three. <laughs> that was crazy. That was a fantastic end. I did not expect to win that event given the circumstances. I will take that. If only I could win every single time. Uh, but not in that situation. I don't want to win like that because that's a little bit nerve-wracking leaving it to the last, very last split second to hit that. So we earn ourselves the first win. But it is the LeBron Blitz event that I'm grinding. It helps that I'm after that LeBron, but also this is much easier to grind this one as it's just a simple live event. It's not a 5v5 challenge. And that is basically it. So don't play seasons at this stage. Play showdown for your daily objectives. Only play more if you're really committed to grinding uh, and spending a lot of stamina and a lot of time to getting high up on the leaderboard. Other than that, play your NBA Today live events at least once, get through all of them, and then jump into the campaigns and focus on the current program. The benefit of the off-season movers is even if you are not going for one of the masters, you can sell all of the pieces and make a pretty penny in terms of profit on the auction house. Uh, the, getting the pricing right can be a bit of a struggle, but when you find a price that actually sells, sell all of your silvers, all of your golds, and save those coins to either upgrade your position by buying a card from the auction house or for one of the next programs. I hope this video has been useful, guys. Just a basic overview of how I'm prioritizing where and when I use my stamina. If you did like this and you like this sort of content, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of my future videos.